Well, we begin a new series this week that will focus on how businesses and business leaders have navigated and survived the COVID-19 pandemic. This week, we're joined by Elizabeth Glassbrenner. She's the CEO of Smiley Technologies. Based here in Little Rock, it's a firm that provides banking services to a variety of financial institutions in state and around the country. It's our first business success story, an Ark and Strong series presented by First Security Bank. For those who do not know much about Smiley Technologies, you do fly under the radar from time to time. Tell everybody what you guys do and uh, maybe something that uh, they may have touched or experienced uh, at a bank that uh, you guys are a part of. Okay. So we, what we do is we build the core system and software and service that really stands behind a bank. So when you go into, you walk in to cash a check at a teller line or make a deposit through the drive-through, all the software that's dealing with those transactions and the accounting behind it is what we build. And then the online banking piece and the mobile banking, you know, when, when you look at your, your bank accounts on, on a mobile device, we build that as well. So our customers really are the bank employees. Um, so so that's, that's who we deal with on a main, main line. So you got a few computer screens around your office is what you're saying. We do, we do. <laughs> uh, your uh, company has garnered some really good national publicity over the last 12 months. Uh, Forbes has recognized you guys for a few things. Um, I believe American Banker has also. I'm not asking you to brag too much on your company, but tell me what do you think of those um, accolades that have come your way? What, what matters most to you? Sure. Well, I will brag on it because I think it's directly attributable to the employees that work here and how hard they worked um, for building what we've built. And um, the first award we got was the Forbes Small Giants Award in 2020, which really they picked 25 small companies across the United States um, that believe being better versus bigger uh, is, is more important, be, taking care of your employees, being people first. Um, so we did receive that award, which we were really proud of. Um, we've also gotten the American Banker Best Places to Work in Fintech. Um, and again, that comes you know, directly to our employees and the environment that they've created you know, every day that we have at work. And, and so those are a couple that, we, that we're really proud of. Let's talk about the pandemic and how you all have responded to it from a workforce perspective as well as a client perspective. Maybe start with your clients first. What, what had to change for you over sure. the last year? Well, the biggest thing was really when everybody went home. Um, you know, all of not, not just not, we didn't just go home. All of our bank employees also went home. They closed the lobbies and the branches. So, um, we do a lot of network services as well and, and PC help. And so we were, we were tasked with getting them all set up at home, um, several hundred employees at once. And, and then, um, probably, you know, there were lots of regulations and things that came out of things they couldn't charge for and things they we backed up IRS, you know, dates and things that happened during the pandemic. And so we had to respond really quickly with software changes and things that to allow those things to happen. Um, what do you, what's your sense of what has changed now in terms of uh, what you're seeing with the businesses that you serve? How much of this is maybe fundamentally changed? How much is kind of going back to normal pre-pandemic? Yeah, I, I think, you know, banking, we were lucky to be in the banking industry during the pandemic. Um, because, you know, banks tended to still do well, um, people still need access to their money. And so we were very lucky that we didn't have to end up laying off any people or, um, or that type thing. So uh, I think, you know, a lot of banking is going more remote. And I think that's something that the, that the universe just has to accept. And so more online tools and, you know, less people and that type thing. But I do think I see it shifting back. You know, people still want to talk to people about their money. And that's, that's why I think community banks are in such a unique place right now, um, which is who we service, to, to really be there for their customers, just like we're there for the banks. Are we ready to walk back into a bank lobby safely? Are we returning to that level of normal, you think? I think so. I see them starting to open slowly. Um, certain, certain environments are opening up. It's, you know, as, as, as more people get vaccinated and people feel more comfortable, I just, I think that some of that will go back. I do think the pandemic forced a whole generation of people on how to use those online tools, um, which, was, which was really good. So it's going to be some combination of both, in my opinion. 
All right, last question for you. Kind of look into your crystal ball. And um, I know you're, you are active in the FinTech space because you have to stay on the cutting edge of where some things are going. What's maybe something that's out there on the horizon that you think maybe people aren't as familiar with, but they're going to be more familiar with in terms of uh, how they bank? I, I really think it's that online space. It's, it's how we move money around. Um, the real-time payments are coming on the scene. Um, you know, people are talking about all the cryptocurrency. Uh, I, I'm, I'm not sure banks are ready just yet to deal with that, but I do think, I, th I think we're all going to have to pay attention to all that. All right. She's the CEO of Arkansas-based Smiley Technologies, Elizabeth Glassbrenner. Thank you so much for your time. Congratulations on your success and congrats on pulling through the pandemic with uh, flying colors. Thank you. I appreciate it.